how to make a WordPress website in 2021. A step-by-step -step training for beginners who have absolute zero knowledge on coding or design. And you don't need to spend a time in creating anything, right? The best part is that you can start making money right up after watching this video. So if you don't know me, then I'm Shan from InkaiAcademy.com and I have this YouTube channel where I do post regular videos on product reviews or on trainings on how to make money online. So in today's tutorial, we are going to learn on how to make a WordPress website in 2021 and that also with all free resources, right? So if that sounds like something interesting to you, then please stick on with me till the end of this video because you are going to get an insane value throughout this video. And if this is something that you like, like softwares and how to make money online, then please make sure that you do subscribe to this channel so that you get notified whenever I go live with my some videos or whenever I have a new videos or any product reviews or any tips on making money online. So with that being said, let's jump into it straight away. So the first step that you need to take to build your website is getting a domain for your business. Now, what is domain? If you just don't know it, I just want to cover up a little. Domain is something by which people know you, right? That is the internet's address to find you. Like Facebook.com is the domain name for Facebook. If you want to enter into Facebook, you need to type Facebook.com on your browser, right? And in the same way, Google.com, all of these are domain names. Now, there can be different extensions of the domain. I don't want to get into that detail over here. What I'll do is that I'll try to create a separate video on domains and what exact domain should be good for your business and all that, right? So with that being said, if you already have a domain and if you already have a web hosting, then you can skip to step number three or you can start off right here by going to any domain registrar like GoDaddy or there's Namecheap, right? Whichever you find good, you can go there and register for your domain. While registering your domain, please make sure that it includes some part of your business. That means your domain should not be abstract, right? If it is on weight loss, health, then try to include those terms within your domain name. That helps you a long way in your SEO approaches that you are going to do next, right? So that's quite important. Hey, so as I told you, the first step is getting your domain registered. So whatever be your business, try to get a domain which is related to that. So if it's weight loss, then let it be like this. It can be something like weight loss tips, right? And then click on search domain. In the most general part, you are not going to get this available. As you can see, this is a premium domain. So there is a bidding going on. So you might want to look at the alternatives that you have, right? So you can get this, as you can see at the normal rate, you can get this at the normal rate. So all that is doing is changing this extension of the domain and it is going to be available. So these are few tricks that you can do to get it available or what you can do is that you can slightly misspell the terms like with weight loss tips. So make the loss LOS and just let us search and see, okay, it has been taken. So somebody has done this already. So you can just go ahead and try these things to get a domain that is quite similar to the business that you do so that people can get an understanding of what exactly your website is by looking at your domain name, right? So that was the first part done and tested. Now going to the step number two, this is actually getting a web hosting plan for yourself. Now, depending on what your needs are, there are different web hosting plans, like there are shared web hosting plans, WordPress web hosting plans, there are VPS plans. Now it all depends on what are your needs, but since I'm doing this video for the beginners, so I do expect that you have a very little knowledge on hosting. So I'll not go detailed into that. What I'll suggest you is go for shared web hosting because that's what 95% of users use, right? So that's going to be good for you too. And we do recommend Bluehost as our preferred web hosting partner. And the training that I'll give you throughout this video will be done on Bluehost because I do have got subscriptions to Bluehost, SiteGround, A2 Hosting. I use all of them, so I am in a better position to tell you. But Bluehost is a good uh, to start off because it's user-friendly and it is very pocket-friendly as well. It gives you a free domain as well, right? So that's quite cool. And there are tons of other features of Bluehost. If you want to take a look at all of them, then you can go down on the description of this video and click the link that will take you to my Bluehost review bonus page where I have put in a detailed review of Bluehost, right? And if you like that, you can pick that up to get all of my bonuses that are 
there on that page. Now, remember, there are tons of bonuses and all of them are going to help you to make money online. So that's quite cool. Now, the second part is your web hosting. For that, you can find a link down in the description that will take you to this page, right, which is Bluehost official website. And then from in here, you can just scroll down to find this shared web hosting plan. And then you can click here to learn more. That will actually open up all the shared hosting plans that they have. And I would suggest you to start off with anything from basic to plus. Now that's up to you. If you have only one website in your mind, then you should go ahead with basic. If you have unlimited websites in your mind, then you should start off with plus or choice plus. That's up to you, but I would recommend any one of these two, right? So once you just click on that, you'll be provided with a screen from where you can choose a domain right in here. This will be a free domain, right? So you don't need to purchase that domain from GoDaddy if you do purchase Bluehost as your preferred web hosting partner. So for the moment, I'm skipping this part because I do I won't register right now. So I want to show you a hack by which you can get Bluehost at lowest possible price. So if we go ahead now and see the plan is at $3.95, right, per month. Now, all that you need to do is first click the link down in the description link below. That will take you to this page. And from here, you follow all the steps that I've shown so far to come over to this page. And then when on this page, you need to make an exit intent, like you are trying to close this, right? Don't close it. but make it sure that you do uh, deceive the browser in some way that you are trying to close off then you are going to get this offer right this is a one-time offer so if you click on close you are never going to get that offer again but if you click on claim savings then you can see that you can apply that savings and the pricing now will go down to 2.65 per month so the so as you can see, the pricing has gone down from $142 for three years to $95 for three years. So that's a great thing to have, right? And remember, whenever it renews, it would renew at the original price. So my suggestion is you go for the 36 month plan, right? So that's going to be great. Then make sure that you tick all these things off so that you are not charged for anything extra, right? And then once done, you need to just uh, put in your payment details over here and then once you click, uh, you need to agree their terms and click on submit and that's it. You will get a mail on your email ID wherein you will get all the informations like your username, your password, your uh, FTP names, your name servers, every information will be there, right? So that's how easy it is to complete the second step, third step. The third step is mapping your domain to your hosting right now if you are purchasing domain from godaddy and if you are purchasing hosting from bluehost then how would they know where to communicate right so that is very important so you need to point your domain to your hosting and that has to be done by you only right so the only way to do that is you need to enter the name server details that you get from your hosting provider now moving to the third step actually here you are going to get a mail from Bluehost, just as I uh, told you in the previous step, right? And this is going to be the mail that I was talking about. And here you can see I have uh, blurred them out because of security reasons, but you can see all the detailed invoicing is there, the kind of payment that you have made is there. Then if you go down here, then you can see that save information of your account, right? So from here, you can find your FTP information, your account information, username, right? Everything is available over here. And the most important part is name server, right? You can see over here, I have blurred it out. However, this is the name server that you want to use. So from here, you need to copy this name server detail. And then you need to go over to your domain register. For this example, it's GoDaddy, right? And from here, you can just go ahead and see all the domains over here. So if you want to map any of these domains to your Bluehost hosting, all that you need to do is click over here, click on manage DNS. And in here, as you can see, there is a change option, right? So you need to click on the change. And here you need to click on this. I'll use my own name servers, right? And then on these two positions, you just need to copy these two name servers that you are going to get from your hosting provider and paste it in here. And that's it. Your domain and your hosting will be mapped together. So that will be done. That's the one time process that you need to do. And then once done, you just can go here and click on save. And that's it, right? So that's how easy the third step was. So. 
coming to the next step that is the fourth step and in here you need to install and configure wordpress so you can create your business emails that means shine at the rate in careacademy.com you can do that right at the rate your domain name that sounds more professional then you can install the ssl this is very important without ssl people uh, don't get their sites ranked on voice search google has strictly implemented that and I'm quite sure that pretty soon sites that don't have SSL won't even rank on Google searches. So you need to make sure that your site has a valid SSL. Now Bluehost gives it for free, right? There are many other hosting providers that give it for free anyways. The next part is installing WordPress on your domain. And last but not the least is configuring the right settings. That is very, very important again. Now coming to our fourth step, which is installing WordPress and configuring it. So for that, we need to log into our Bluehost admin portal. As you can see, I'm right over here. Now, once you have mapped your domain, the domain would be available right under this section that is domains. And as you can see, these will all come as secondary domain like this, right? So you can again go over here and from Bluehost itself, you can again change the DNS if you want, right? So that's how easy it is. With that being said, I have uh, got you covered with everything up to this far. So what we'll do is that for this illustration, I'll create a subdomain as if it was your domain. So just uh, click on add subdomain and then I'll type in as weight loss tips, right? And I'll uh, create the subdomain on my primary domain and click on add subdomain. So that will add the subdomain to my blue host. Now this will be used as a domain name since i'm not purchasing any new domain so i just uh, i'm doing it with a subdomain right so once it is available you just need to go over to my sites and from this my site you just need to go over here this create site right you can see all these sites are already there now these are all sites for my customers so i do use bluehost for my customers as well with that being said if you click on create site then it will give you two options one is the brand new site builder that Bluehost has introduced, which is drag drop, right? You like weeks, but uh, you don't have that much customization in here. So we'll go with the WordPress one, right? So just click on get started. Give your site a name, say weight loss, and um, give it a tagline, weight loss is good, just for an example, right? And then in here, you just need to click on this advanced, and from here, you can just go over and give an email address. This is extremely important. If something happens to your website, you can recover this via this email address. So this is very important. Then you need to just provide an admin username and a password. And then once done, you can click on next. So let me complete this and we'll meet on the next screen. So here in, they are asking for choosing a domain. Now remember, I created a subdomain weight loss. Uh, so let me find it. There it is, weight loss tips, right? and uh, let this directory be empty. Just tick this off because I don't like any default plugins being there because all that does is unnecessarily weights up your installation. So you don't need to do that. Then click on next and pretty soon your site will be ready right in front of your eyes. So, and pretty soon you are going to receive this congratulations message. And from here, you just need to save all these details, right? And then you can just log into WordPress directly or you can go back to my sites. So that's up to you. So with that, we have completed WordPress installation as well. Now let me go back to my sites and show you quickly how you can create emails for yourself. So for that, you need to go over to this advanced and clicking on it will open up the C panel as they call it. This is the toolbox for your website hosting right and this is very important basically all of the hosting provider have a similar kind of cpanel it's the orientation and the look and feel that is different but basically it's the same right so in here you are going to find all the different statistics right you can see what exactly you have used file usage your database usage your users everything you can see from here so that's quite cool things to have right then you can have some typical things from here, like you can create your email accounts. So if you click on here, then this will actually take you to our email account creation process. And it's again, pretty simple. As you can see, I have created admin at the red Digimax Phototech. That's the one I was telling you, as long as your domain is within this hosting, you can create mails like professional mail. So for this example, let's go ahead and click on create. 
and in here you need to choose a domain as you can see over here so if we click over here then if we go down and let us find the weight loss steps right so you can see over here then let me enter my name so it would be cheyenne at the rate weight loss steps dot digimax dot com right so you can enter your password so just make sure that it's strong enough right you can generate it as well and save it anywhere you want now, once done, you can just click on create and that's it. Your email ID would be created and you can create unlimited email ID. So that's quite cool. And as you can see, you have created this uh, email ID. So that's how easy it is. And you can see unlimited available. I have used up only four of them. So that's quite cool. You can again see all those email IDs from here. You can go ahead and check your emails. You can manage the settings of any of them right you can manage the connected devices you can manage this uh, storage system everything is absolutely doable right so that's how easy it is to create all this now with that being said it's time to actually jump over to the website that we have created right so for that all that we need to do is again go back to my sites now since SSL comes for free so we don't need to install it over here but if uh, there are some other web hosting that you are going to get if there is no SSL in there or it is not directly implemented then you might need to go ahead and change it right so from here we can click on manage site and from there you can just click on login to wordpress that will directly take you over to your newly created site so as you can see the wordpress is loading right in front of your eyes and pretty soon we'll get an interface from where we can work with our new site how cool is that so as you can see it has opened up and currently coming soon active mode is on so we'll show you how to launch your website as well don't worry so the first thing that we need to do is um, go ahead to settings so for that we just need to go here go over to general settings and from here you need to make a couple of changes right if you want those changes to happen so just follow me i'll show you don't worry so from here you can change the site title tagline right anytime if you want to change from here you can change the administration email the one that i marked as important right then if this is a membership website then you can have this anyone can register ticked on that means anyone can log in uh, create their user id sign up and then can log in right so this is particularly important if you are running any membership website right and then you can choose the default role to be subscriber contributor author editor or administrator right so that's up to you but i will recommend it to be a subscriber right you can start you can have your date formats time formats week uh, starts on anything like that keep them those defaults as well so it doesn't matter then you need to go over to writing and from here so on the general the main thing was on the membership right now on the writing all that you can do if there is a default uh, category in which you want the post to be posted then you can select this from here but this will only work once you have created the categories right and then you can also choose the default post formats and that's up to you again right then you can just go ahead here and go over to reading and from here you need to make again a couple of settings that you need to check if you want your home page to be a static one you can do that via this right uh, you can select it as a static page or if you want your latest post for example for blogs home page it can be your latest post right so that's up to you whichever things you want so uh, if you want your website to be not visible to search engine you can take this on as well so again that's not recommended but i just wanted to show you that there are this kind of things then you need to go over to permalinks and in here you just make sure that your post is created in a structured way just like this right this is the recommended one for your uh, post right if you want a custom structure you can do that via this as well so that's it and once all the changes are made you can click on save changes and all the changes are done so that was it for our this section now going to the next step that we want is security for your site and for that you need to install a plugin which is called really simple SSL which enforces the SSL. Now you are going to get the SSL from the hosting uh, provider right either you get it for free or you buy it so that's up to you but 
only procuring the SSL doesn't make your site safe. You need to make sure that all the pages, all the site of your website is secure. And for that, you need to install this plugin. I'll show you. Don't worry. It's a completely free plugin. So welcome to the fifth step. And in here, we are going to ins install a plugin. So for that, you need to go over to plugin and then click on the add new. Now, if you have any plugin that you have bought from somewhere or you have got access to, right? If you are going to purchase Bluehost via me, then I'm going to give you a tons of plugins. So all of those can be uploaded via this tab over here, upload plugin. But for this example, what we are interested in is really simple SSL. So you can just search for SSL maybe, oh, sorry, SSL, and then click on enter. And that will bring in really simple SSL. So you just need to click on install. And once installed, it will have this activate. You just need to click on that. And that's it. That's the step that you wanted to do so that your site is absolutely secure, right? So you have taken care of your security. So that's quite cool. In the next step, what we'll do is that we will install a theme. Now, what is theme? Theme is actually the decorative part of your website, right? The look and feel of your websites, the basic functionalities of your websites, all of that would be determined by the theme. So this is very important part of the journey, right? Now we'll uh, work with Astra theme as it's a free one to use. Now remember there's the Astra premium version as well that has a lot of agency licensed websites that you can use and you are going to get it as a bonus if you do purchase Bluehost. Anyways, uh, even if you are with the free version of Astra, that's quite good because it has done for you websites on different niches. It comes with a demo importer plugin. That means without you requiring to enter any of the detail, it would create a website with demo contents for you. That's quite cool. And then you need to just choose one of the niches. If, if it's fashion, you can do that. If you are a coach, you can do that. If that's e-com, you can do that. There are all different kinds of niches available on Astra. So that's why we have kept Astra as our model theme, right? Now let's move over to our sixth step. Now, if you currently visit the site, just let us visit the site and see what exactly it looks like. Now, remember, there's a coming soon mode active. So if anybody visits this, first of all, they will see coming soon mode. But since you are the developer, they are giving you the look and feel of what your sites looks like. So this is not the kind of site that you want, ideally, right? So <laughs> this, uh, don't worry, I will change that in this step. So this step involves in installing themes. So for that, we just need to go over to the dashboard again. Now on the dashboard, you will find something called appearance, as you can see over here. And then you need to go over to themes, right? And then on the themes, you can again import your theme if you already have something. So for that, you just click, need to click on add new theme from where you can import your theme or what you can do is that you can search for done for you themes. Now, this is where WordPress is a great thing because there is a great community that keeps adding different functionalities. So you don't need to buy everything, right? So that's quite cool. Now, this is the Astra theme that we were talking about. All that you need to do is click on install. Now, once installed, again, the second thing that we need to do is activate. And as soon as we click activate, then you can see if we go down here, we are going to get an option called Astra options under the appearance heading, right? So we need to click on Astra options. And in here, you can find that there are over 150 plus starter templates that you can start with. So for that, you just need to click on this. If, if that is visible, let me put it down a little. So here from, you can see the install importer plugin. You just need to click on that. And then you need to choose any of the page builder. Now, if you are deciding to create a blog, then I would suggest you go with Gutenberg. If you are deciding to create a website, a normal website, then you should go with Elementor or you can go with Beaver. You can go with anything you like. But if you are starting out, if you want to take my tips, then please go with Elementor because it's one of the most easiest things available, right? So once you have chosen Elementor, it will actually show you a bunch of themes that are Elementor responsive, as you can see over here. So it covers almost all niches. You can see pet care, brand store. This is e-commerce, right? This is travel, right? This is outdoor adventure, right? So all of these are there. So Life Coach is there. This is LMS Learn Dash Academy. This is bar and restaurant. Again, restaurant. So you can just see over here, there are pizza, pizzeria. So that's something related to pizzas, right? And these are all agency, as you can see. So um, these are not going to have, be available on the free version, but 
with that being said if you are buying it via me then you can get that agency one as well so that's quite cool so since our one is weight loss so it would be related to health so just go with health and let's for this example let's go with uh now as you can see this is more related to weight loss but this is agency however you can just go over to this one nutritionist right and then you can click on this and you can take a preview of the entire website from here you can take a look at how different pages looks like right so once done you can just click on this import complete site right and clicking on that you will be redirected to another little tab from where they would try to get information out of you so make it beginner and then make it for myself and maybe click on next and in here don't provide this name and id because they will keep bothering you so just keep on skip and it's already started importing and it would be imported pretty soon so and there you are imported successfully so now let us click on view site and let us see whether the magic has happened or not and boom there is a fully loaded website right in front of you having different pages as you can see over here all these have been imported by one click all these contents are demo contents i'll show you how to edit it don't worry but uh, just make sure that this looks like fantastic right so that's quite cool and you can be quite proud of uh, creating this kind of website so that's quite cool and that's as easy as it gets so going to the next part what we need is that we want to customize the site now remember we had imported demo site right now for each of the step we need to customize it with our own contents right so that's quite cool thing to have we can change the logos the menus the widgets uh, the contact us everything right we need to insert our details and then we need to push the site into a live mode that is going to be interesting right and then your site will be visible to everybody around the world. So now on this step, what we'll do is that we'll try to customize everything and make sure that this website has exactly the look and feel and the information that you want this website to have, right? So for that, all that you need to do, remember that we had chosen Elementor as our page builder. So you can see over here, there's an edit with Elementor option. So you can click on that and that will actually open up the Elementor page builder with your home page. So if you click, on any of the pages and click with edit with Elementor, then it will open up that page and it will open up the editor, which in your case is uh, Elementor, right? Now, if you want to change anything, this which is text, then it's as simple as this, right? You can delete it, you can write whatever you want, you can change the color of it, you can change the size, you can change the alignment, everything is customizable. Now, I'll do a deep training of how to change everything with Elementor. I don't really want to elongate it further, but I just wanted to make sure that you know that everything is customizable. So what we'll do is that we'll continue from here with our training on how you can make changes with Elementor throughout the page. So you can change this picture over here. You can add caption, you can have alignment, you can go ahead and change the styling. You can go ahead even and change the advanced properties like margins, paddings. You can have animations to these pictures as well. So it's, it's up to your imagination, the level of editing that you can do. And it's a great, great thing to have, right? So with that being said, uh, I think I've shown you everything. Now I want to show you a couple of things like how you can just go ahead and change the total look and feel of your site by customizing the logos, the favicons and all those stuff. So for that, you need to go over to customize. So let it load. I'll show you. Don't worry. Now for that, you need to go over to your dashboard again. And from there again, as I already told you, you can just go ahead to the appearance. And from there, you can change around with this widgets, the menus, the themes you can go for customization now on the customize you are going to get different options like options to customize your menus option to customize your logos your favicons your widget everything right you can see over here so if we just want to change the logo all that we need to do is go over to this header builder and from here we can find the logo right if you want to make any changes you can do that if you want to make any changes to primary menu you can do that so what we'll do is that we'll keep another complete video on this stuff because this is going to take a bit of time so i just wanted to make sure that you know that all these things whatever you are seeing is changeable and they can be customized to whatever extent you want so that you get that particular custom look and feel that's cool right so 
once this is done, you are ready with everything. Your website is already ready. Now you want a couple of things. That is, first of all, you want this site to be having the data that you want. So for that, we will go for the customization of the data. And then once all things are set, you just need to go over to this part that is coming soon active. You click on this and this will take you to the dashboard again. And in here, you just need to go over and click on launch your site. And then this coming soon active will be gone as you can see over here and your site has been launched. Now, if in future, if you want to make any edit, so the best uh, recommended practice here is we store this coming soon make the changes and then again relaunch your site, right? So that's how it works and we have covered almost everything. So on the next video, what we'll do is that we will actually take a look at how you can change your page look and feel with Elementor. That is, we'll be taking a look at editing with Elementor and then we will create another video where we will talk about the optimizations, right? Like the speed optimizations, the backups, then the migrations, all of those stuffs will be there. So if you think that you have got any bit of value from this entire tutorial, which has taken me more than a couple of hours to create. So if you are getting good value out of it, then please help me with a like. That really helps me grow and that really doesn't cost you anything. But if you have really got any value, then please go ahead and help me with a like. And if you really want to be updated with this kind of tutorials, then please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit on the bell notification icon because I do have regular videos on either product reviews or on trainings on making money online. And all of the products that I do review are basically software that are going to help you with your mission on making money online. They are going to make the things quite simpler, right? And as always, I really hope that you guys have loved it. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment here or get in touch with us on our Facebook page. The link to that will be in the description again. You can again mail us as well. Again, the link is on the description, so if you like. And if you do want to pick up Bluehost, which is currently in its best possible offer price, then please make sure that you do that early because our bonuses are going to expire pretty soon and the pricing is going to go up pretty soon. Thank you for watching this video. Take care of yourself and your families and do take action, right? If you just watch this video and turn your PC off or turn your mobile off, that doesn't make any sense. Try to replicate whatever I have shown you. If you find anything difficult, if you have any problem, I'm there to help you. Just make sure that you do connect to me either over my Facebook or on my email or right here on YouTube also. I'm there always to help you. With that being said, thank you for watching. We'll meet again pretty soon. Until then, take care. Signing off is Sean from Entire Academy. Take care. Bye.